What is good guys, back with game 3 between Pekar and Ojama, so this is the deciding match and looking at the teams um, Ojama is quite weak to Mega Alakazam, so that could definitely be Spideftar uh, Which is most likely the Rockers, so I think it's Rocks, Megatar, Sandrush Drill If Tang is Helmet, then the Pex is like near Max Spidef or Max Spidef If um, the Tang is AV, then the Pex is probably Mixed Defensive Looking like Rocky Helmet, Torn, Z-Move, Excadrill and I guess Isa Sash or Life Orb Alakazam. Pegard brought a Nidoking, King, which is cool. Uh, Marwell also looks really scary in this match. Because if he gets some chip on Excadrill, it's in Sucker Punch range. Then the Grin Ninja is most likely Ash Ninja on this team. Uh, I think Rocky Helmet Torn on, on both sides. So, turn one, uh, this is a good lead for Ajama. Unless Pegard pulls up with Will Wisp, this is really good for Ajama. Um, this is definitely Pegard's rocker, so we could see um, either a Wisp or Rocks or Toxic, as we do see Rocks exchange from both sides. Now, Pegard really doesn't have a great counter to this. I guess he might go into Bulu. Like, he could go into Bulu once, I think. Because, like, Tita usually carries, like, Edge, Pursuit, Fire Punch, sometimes Ice Punch, sometimes Crunch, sometimes Earthquake. He goes hard into Nidoking, predicting a Stone Edge. Oh, Jammer just goes for Earthquake, and Nidoking goes down. Nidoking killed everything. Like, hello, why did you do that? Like, I know he predicted Stone Edge, but I think he should have gone into Bulu. To me, it's quite obvious that this Tita is uh, a Spadef variant. And that, that way it can take a Focus Blast from Alakazam. But yeah, Bulu comes out. And Jama's just gonna go into his Torn or into his Tang growth here. Uh, we could see potentially a double into um, the Marwell here would be a good play in my opinion. But he just, just go he does just go for super power. Now um, I guess Pekat could go for protect to get some health back. Uh, Ojama doubles into Excadrill, predicting Heatran or predicting he Hollinches again. Okay, dude. He, he doubled into Excadrill predicting Heatran or maybe predicting Mawa. No, Grassy Terrain was up. He didn't predict Mawa. I think he predicted Heatran. Now, Greninja comes out. Uh, Ojama has to switch here into either Pex or Tang Growth. Um, can we see, do we see a spike? Because uh, obviously he's not going to stay in with the drill and potentially give him Ash for him. But yeah, now Ojama could throw a Skull here or he could also go for Toxic depending on what he has. Tornadus comes out, Tornadus gets burned. And he's probably gonna go for a knockoff here. And if Ojama doesn't want to get knocked, he can switch out. He goes into Tita predicting a knockoff. And yeah, I mean this could be Z move Torn or Z. I don't think the Greninja was Z, I think the Greninja is Spec. So he goes for Z. What is it? Pummeling? It is. So does that kill the Tita? That eats? Okay, and Pursuit is gonna kill with Sandstorm and with the burn, I'm pretty sure. So this is definitely like I expected a Spideftar. I still did wasn't sure if it would live that. That's insane. And obviously Ojama doesn't want to stay in here and give him Ash. I guess he might stay in. But huh. He could also go hard into his packs or into his tang here. And I mean Tita is just fodder at this point. I mean, even if Pegat gets Ash, I don't think it's too, too bad for Ojama unless his entire team gets flinched down, which it cannot get flinched down because he still has two turns of sand left after this turn, which means if Pegat doesn't lock into Shuriken, Drill can come out and revenge the Greninja with Earthquake. So I guess second Tita is an okay play here for Ojama to get the Drill in after, yeah. Because if he Shurikens, then you can just go Pex or Tang after. If he dark pulses or pumps, you can go um, Excadrill. And Earthquake just picks up a kill afterwards because Grassy Terrain already ended. Dude, why is this game four minutes in or three minutes? And it's like, Pekka's team is like half dead. Good god. So he does give him Ash, which is fine, like I said, because he can now go Excadrill. Since this is Specs, he should know that it's Specs from the damage on Pex Shuriken. That was pretty obvious. So Earthquake is just gonna get a kill as he decides to sack off his Heatran to Earthquake. Pretty obvious. Now he has to go Mawile, I think, and I think he's forced to go for Sucker Punch with Mawile because um, if the Excadrill stays in to Earthquake as he SDs, then he's in a bad spot because even though the Mawile can probably live an Earthquake from the drill with the Intimidate barely, uh, the Mawile would then get into range from Rocky Helmet. Which, um, I think the Torn is Helmet. Did he reveal that yet? Pretty sure it's Helmet Torn. Um, if Tang didn't 
Tang didn't come out yet, right? I don't remember. But either Tang or Torn, one of them is gonna be helmet for sure. I don't think it's revealed right just now, but it's pretty obvious. Uh, so Pegard is kind of forced to sucker punch here, just because I just explained it. If he SDs and X schedule stays in the earthquake, then his mobile gets brought really low. Um, I'm gonna run the cows real quick. Um, so yeah, mobile sucker punch does. 60 to 70 to the drill, so it kills, unless this drill is bulk invested. And drill's earthquake does um, 74 to 88, which means it will most likely bring mobile in rocky helmet range from Torn or Tang. Whichever of the two has helmet, um, I think the Torn has helmet. Tang should be AV uh, on, on this team, I think. Like, Tita alone is not enough for Zem. If Tita gets chipped, Zem still wins versus you. Because it traces Sand Rush from versus Driller, so that's not even a counter. I guess it could also have Sash Zam, then he doesn't then maybe he's not AV Tang if he Sash Zam. I think I still think AV Tang is better on this team, which means he's probably Helmet on Torn then if he's AV Tang, because that way you can check Kartana better. So if you're a Jama here, do you earthquake or do you switch? I think you switch out rating Sucker Punch, because Pegat is kind of forced to Sucker Punch. Mm. What do you switch out into is my question. Um, this this game is not over yet. You can if this Mora gets a SD, um, it can get ugly for Jama. Like it can get really scary because he outspeeds um, Pex and Tang and destroys them. But either um, a, like T punch or knockoff. If he gets up a SD, obviously Tang he would have to go for player off. So I assume he just sucker punches? Yeah, I know John predicts that and goes for SD. So the mind games start right here. Um, damn, dude. Um, I think Ojama's gonna switch out here. Wow, he stayed into SD again, okay. I thought he would switch out to predict the sucker punch. Like, he could switch out into, like, Pex on his soccer, as he does do that right now. Does Pekka predict that? He does predict that. Okay, player of this 29. I'm not sure what that means. I think that means this Pex has a little bit of fist dev investment. He gets up a T-spike. Dude, Ojama is wild. He T-spikes in front of a Mawile, okay. Which means, um, now the Greninja is on a timer. So if he ever gets rid of the Mawile, um, Greninja is on a timer and Ojama probably wins, but now he has to deal with the Mawile still. Um, Mawile still has six sucker punches left. Uh, we could now see a sack here from Ojama. We could he could sack off either the Tang or the Torn, whichever of the two is Rocky Helmet to get some chip on the Mawile. As there is Thunder Punch. Yeah, I was expecting either a knockoff or Thunder Punch right there. And now I think he has, unless he sash Alakazam, which if he sash Alakazam, he can just go to it right now. Uh, even though I don't know if that even kill, I don't know if sash Alakazam even kills it. But he goes on the Excadrill, so the mind games just keep going now. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have sub, he's just SD. Two attacks and spin as he goes down, predicting the sucker punch, gets the play right. Now, I don't think he's Sash just from the way he played this. So, um, also if Pegat can live a hit, he's not forced to sucker punch this turn. He can potentially, he can potentially attack here. Um, well, I assume he's just gonna see a focus burst from Ojama, and yeah, he doesn't have to sucker punch. I think he's just gonna T. I think he's just gonna T punch because that's 100% accurate and it doesn't risk missing. I just hit my table. My bad if you heard a weird noise. Yeah, pretty sure focus burst doesn't kill even if it's life orb. So that does 65. Maybe that's not life orb. I expected it to do like 70. Um, yeah, and I think Tang is AV. If Torn with helmet, I don't think he's double helmet. So Excat comes out. And I think he has five sucker punches left. How many does he have left? Dude, the mind games. Dude, if you're real, you click player off right here, right now. <laughs> if you're real one. Because, like, usually they don't... Usually they try to play sucker punch for a few turns. And then they try to attack. They don't hard. Um, they usually... Like, he would not hard off quick here. So, like, <laughs> if you player off here right now, like, obviously, dude, if I'm, also, if I'm peg out here, I throw a coin. I throw a coin if I player off or if I suck a punch. <laughs> I think Ojama is gonna SD the first turn, trying to play the sucker, because uh, Pegat still has a few sucker punches left, which means, like, Ojama kind of is kind of forced to try and outplay the sucker punches, and knowing that, if you're Pegat, I think you can hard attack right here, knowing that... 
I mean, it's, it's a mind game, honestly, but it's an, a mind game that's in Paycard's favor. That's how I see it, because he has multiple sucker punches. And usually people try to predict the sucker punches, like I said, so hard attacking here, which I don't know if I would do it, honestly, but as a viewer, it's like <laughs> it's like different as a viewer and, as a f and when I'm playing myself. When I'm playing myself, I usually just... Sometimes I just click sucker punch all the eight times. Because you sometimes I just try to predict. Okay, he does suck at the SD. Yeah, like I said, if he, uh, that's obviously so easy to say as a spectator. But I had a feeling if he attacked that he would have gotten Ojama and it would have been game over right there. But oof. Yeah, um, this is just huge mind games. And obviously super fun to watch. But like. <laughs> With every, with every sucker punch he loses, the pressure on him gets higher and higher. So, I think now you're kind of you're getting into it too far. So now I think I would just spam sucker punch if I'm pay card. Uh, dude, I don't know. I think Ojama's gonna SD at least one or two more times before he attacks. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> I, if I'm if I'm pay card right now. And um, he just SD'd on the sucker. I would be so annoyed. I would just spam sucker, I think. Because now I would I would be too shook to click play rough this turn. Well, I guess this this turn there's still a chance you can click. Yeah, I think this turn you can still click play rough. But... Oh my god, I would have gotten him again. <laughs> I was gonna say, like I said, it's just so easy as a viewer. But now he got you again and eventually the pressure is so high on pay card. Like... He had like his one or two chances where he could have clicked player off. Obviously, it's super easy to say that when you're just watching. But good God. As he just, yeah, now now he's in that. The, dude, Ojama is really going for it. And he gets, oh my God. <laughs> Chat's gonna go wild, watch this shit. Dude, what? Dude, that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, eventually the pressure is just so hard. Like, the pressure gets to you. And I think at that point... I, like when you're so far in, that's how I would play it. I would just spam sucker punch eventually when you get too, when you get when you're like too close. Now he has to flinch him to win as he gets the flinch. So this game is not over yet. He can still win um, by flinching. Ojama is probably gonna switch out here into the packs, which gets tweet KO'd from Dark Pulse after Rock since the Greninja is an Ash form. So he's gonna sack the packs and this comes down to it. Can he get a Dark Pulse flinch on the Tangros? His Pax is obviously gonna go down. Poison is not gonna kill the Greninja. It's only one layer, it's not gonna rack up. Even if it was two layers, I'm not sure it would have killed. But good god. I mean that was that was one for the fans that Borojama did right there. Um good way to do it is in a car. Honestly, uh in, intense sucker punch mind games like I don't know, I feel like Like I said, if if you're in, going getting into it and start clicking sucker punch, then if like the pressure like gets to you and dude, I'm not sure like that's just like hard because usually you would say um, you just click sucker punch eight times but like when you think too much about it and this is a tournament game this is not ladder as now it comes down to the flinch like maybe if you think too much about it like it sounds so simple to just click sucker eight times but the opponent can potentially predict that and then if you think too much about it, like the mind games and then the pressure and does he get the flinch no flinch so ojama takes this one two one after nido king was sacked early and looked like ojama was gonna uh win this one super easy but then the mobile turned out to be such a huge threat for his team because he did not have a good sucker punch answer like after the model was able to get that SD up. So that that was a good one. That was a good one to watch at least. Um, even though, yeah, I don't think I would have gone hard into Nido King. Um, I guess, yeah, like I said, he predicted the Stone Edge. And he always he didn't want to go Bulu maybe in case it's offensive Stone Edge Cheetah and it would have done a lot. I don't know the calc on that. I might put you guys the calc in the description. Thank you for watching. Ojama wins 2-1 versus Pekka and I'll see you with more tournament coverage. Uh, either later or tomorrow or maybe some guest uploads hit the like button if you enjoyed uh, hit the like button for Ojama winning the mind games and peace out friends